Nobody's tried this layout before. As we've developed cars in the past, they were evolutions of, of other designs, and so we sort of knew what to expect. Given the unique nature of this design, the small tires in specific and whether they're going to grip, nobody really knows what to expect. Immediately I thought this is something that, that Michelin should be involved in. Michelin will become the first major technical partner to join a team who has built a revolutionary sports car intended to compete in the greatest endurance race of the world, the 24-hour of Le Mans. Motorsport can change people's opinions of a technology. It can change the way that uh, efficiency is accepted. My initial reaction was, wow, I wonder if this can really work. How are you doing? Good, how are you, sir? Very good. I thought Michelin should be involved in this from the very beginning because it aligns so well with some of our very core values, innovation, technology, pushing the limits of what we know today in the industry of the tire, but also just because it's something that we have never done before. The biggest challenge that Michelin faced in designing tires for the Delta Wing is the fact that we're operating well outside of our experience boundary. Do you know what's in there? No. Two sets of front wheels. <laughs> no way. That's true. <laughs> Delta is a very different concept. Half the mass, half the drag, half the fuel, half the power, and hopefully half the tires. Weight is the enemy. Aerodynamic drag is the opportunity. And we got the drag down, but then we had to get the weight down. We worked quite closely with the team to specify exactly what mass would the tires come in at, where did we want them to be, and what the tire dimensions should be in terms of that trade-off of mass versus ultimate performance. This tire that's the front tire for the Delta Wing is only four inches wide, and as you can see, it's very light. In fact, the entire assembly is driven towards low mass. What is amazing for me is, is where the weight's been saved. Even though I've seen the wheels in pictures, to actually physically see how small the front wheels are, how narrow, how light, very exciting to look at something so different. This four-inch tire certainly has created a lot of buzz. Not only in the tire industry, but also in the automotive industry, because the question is, how do you fit this much technology into this four-inch tire here? The tires that Michelin brought us are way better than we expected. I mean, they're like magic. 